Deflation patterns are flashing red and are being confirmed, Steen Jakobsen's view. An early sign, he says, of the dramatic slowdown he expects in growth, not just in Europe, but also in Asia. I think the inflation outlook and the trend overall in the inflation is indicating that the productivity, the ability to, to price and have margins in the companies is falling. So it's a bad omen for, for not only the growth, but probably uh, in one or two quarters also for, for, for the uh, earnings. This is a big worry for the ECB. We'll hear from them on Thursday. Steen says they'll probably use deflation as an excuse to talk the euro down and strong rhetoric is one of the few things they can use. I think the rhetoric will work short term at least. The problem of course being that when you do have a deflationary economy, which we probably will have, or some, at least a disinflation economy, your currency tends to, to appreciate, which is the, the national phenomenon. So, so you, you are sort of caught between a, a rock and a hard plate in the sense that ECB is reduced to talking the euro down and in, indicating they want an easier monetary policy. But I think for now, with yelling coming in and, and the whole monetary policy issues being that people wrongly, in my opinion, believes there will be more tapering, more aggressive tapering this year and better growth. I think exactly the opposite. That hence the ECB has a room of two to three months actually to make the euro go lower first. Steen has long argued that early 2014 is all about moving risk from equities to bonds. I will not overall say that you should just buy any governmental uh, bond issuance, but I think buying Danish bonds, Swedish bonds, Norwegian bonds, German bonds and, and the like in the core would, would make a lot of sense. But I also expect some slight increase in the spreads in the peripheral bond market.